this is this looks amazing for the Raspberry Pi. This looks really good. I guess it's the coloring too and the effects, but man, this looks great. This is the Recall Fight Recall Box image running the latest version of Recall Box, version 17.12.02. And man, is this awesome. I'm talking about this after I've already spent some time with it, and it is cool. It's all about fighting games, nothing else. Fighting games all the way from uh, Atari, all the way up to Dreamcast and PSX, uh, even PSP as well. And uh, Dreamcast is in PSP is running great. Uh, really, really impressed by this. And um, you know, Recall Box is really easy to use. I mean, it's really, really user friendly. Um, a couple other things you might be interested in: the the Final Burn Alpha set is version 0.2.97.42, and the main version is 0 0.078. Uh, Everything runs really great. I would actually say the laggiest system on here is Nintendo 64 on a couple of titles, but even um, Killer Instinct, which typically lags on the Nintendo 64, is definitely playable on this image. Now, it is overclocked at 1.3 gigahertz to get started, but don't fret. As long as you have some sort of fan or something like that, it's going to run just fine. Now, overall, I'm super impressed by this image, and let's take a deeper look. Getting started on this image, it will prompt you to configure your controller, and as you can see, my Logitech F710 had no issues here. Joystick 1 was D-pad. Joystick 2 is your analog, A, B, X, Y, start, select your bumpers and then your triggers and then I just skip L3, L and R3 by holding down A and then hotkey select on mine. So this is in French to begin with so you do want to hit, once you configure your controller go to hit start and go into the options uh, system and then on the bottom here language with you know it's spelled in French there, change it to English and uh, it'll actually reboot the Pi and uh, when you come back in, it'll all be in English. As far as English moving forward, most games are in English, like 95% of them. If not, you can change it in the game itself. So let's have a peep at this NES, 20 games total, um, American Gladiators, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. So boxing, wrestling, fighting, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and uh, WWF wrestling as well. Atari Lynx, one, Pit Fighter. Family Disc System, three, Karate Champ, Pro Wrestling, and no video snaps, but you can see all the artwork here. Game Boy, 24 games. Again, boxing, wrestling, Mortal Kombat, all the classics, Primal Rage. Um, you know, between this image, you're gonna see a lot of a uh, lot of uh, Mortal Kombat, a lot of Street Fighters. So Super NES, all your fighting games. Nintendo 64, 30 games. And as I mentioned before, Killer Instinct Gold actually does run. Uh, most of these games run well. Some of them are going to run a lot laggier than others. Uh, for example, Ready to Rumble 2, I'd highly recommend playing on the Dreamcast over the Nintendo 64, personally. Um, the, the Dreamcast runs great, you'll see in a moment. Game Boy Advanced, quite a few titles here. Capcom Classics, Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear is also on the Dreamcast, and I believe on the PlayStation as well, I believe. And SG-1000, Master System. Mega Drive, also known as Genesis 49, quite a bit here as well, so you're kind of classics. Game Gear, 14, Mortal Kombat, Rise of Robots, uh, Sega CD, also known as Mega CD in Europe, 8 games total. Sega 32X, 7 games. This is a 64 gigabyte image, by the way. Dreamcast. And uh, I have to say, I mean, I tested a lot of these games. Uh, well, they all run. I mean, they all run. It's really nice. Um, and uh, if they're not in English when they boot up, you can change the language once you're in the game. Um, as you can see, the metadata is in um, French. But as you can see, the actual emulation station front end is in English once you switch it around. So really nice stuff. Really great Dreamcast collection. PSX. 
53 games on the PlayStation 1. Um, all your fighters, a lot of good ones in here, Dead or Alive 1 and 2, Mortal Kombat, Ready to Rumble, um, Tekken, lots and lots of really good good games here, X-Men's Zero Divide 1 and 2. Now PSP, I was really shocked at how well these ran as well. Uh, I definitely got some lag in Tekken 5, but uh, Mortal Kombat ran really well. Um, you know, occasionally if you're in a cutscene or something that's just really high intensity um, emulation, it, you will see some lag. Now arcade set, I did test Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Primal Rage, which are typically pretty laggy on Retro Pie, and they actually run really well, respectively better on here. Um, I'm not sure if that's the emulator or the actual being overclocked, but uh, I'm sure those both play into the into the increased performance. Now, awesome arcade set, a lot of classics. I mean, I you know I could spend months in this uh, category alone, but uh, as you see, a lot of great ones: King of Fighters, uh, your Mortal Kombat's, and once we get down here, we're going to see some a bunch of. Oh, we missed it, but before there was a bunch of Street Fighters as well, pretty much all of them. Neo Geo, uh, Fatal Fury, King of Fighters, all in there. Neo Geo Pocket Color, two. Neo Geo Pocket Color, uh, two. And uh, PC Engine, quite a bit, including Street Fighter 2, 12 total. And uh, a lot of great titles there. And then Wonder Swan, two. Wonder Swan Color, another six here. Coleco, Vision, 1. Amstrad, CPC, 1, 3D Boxing. Commodore 64, 2. MSX, 5. And Atari 2600, 3. 7800, 5. And Atari ST, 3. And a little bit of portables coming up. Atari Lynx, 1. And back to Nintendo. All right, so here we go. Um, it looks great, right? I mean, really great graphics on the Dreamcast, um, especially to the, the other systems that will play on the Raspberry Pi 3. And uh, you're gonna see here. I mean, it's just super playable. Uh, I'm, I'm this game. I was had zero lag. Controller input zero. La controller input lag. Uh, it looks beautiful as hell and uh, loved it. I was really, really impressed by this. Uh, really good stuff. And start select out, easy exit. Controls are already set up, ready to go to start on this one. Really good stuff. Um, when you boot back out, let's try another Dreamcast game here. I'm gonna do uh, Ready to Rumble 2. Uh, let's try Dead or Alive 2. Counter blow. Ooh. A little bit of lag, but I mean, super playable. Like as far as me doing inputs and and what I'm actually digging the bezels and the. Um, Where's my uppercut? Oh, there it is. Oh, he knocked me first. Ooh. There we go. Nice. 
got me. Try Mortal Kombat Unchained. So there you have it. Awesome, awesome image. Custom recall box build. Uh, PSP working great. Dreamcast working great. N64 working better than a lot of the RetroPie builds. As I mentioned, it is overclocked. That's why you're seeing a little bit of performance benefit as well as pr the uh, recall boxes uh, adding to that as well. It does have Cody on here as well. You just press X and there's a Cody shortcut. Um, something about recall box is really easy to use. Just hit that start button at any time and a lot of options are available to you. There's no like setup menu to get to Wi-Fi and all the other stuff. It's all done through the start menu. Do not update this image. It might potentially break it because of the custom theme and everything else like that. But as for now, it's all ready to go. Beautiful stuff. Um, I'm going to have to give this an A. I mean, I've the few recall box images I've come across have been decent, but this one's been great. I mean, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. The, the only reason I might not give it a perfect rating is because it's missing some other games and systems and things like that. But this is a fighting only image and it seems like 90% of what runs on the uh, on the Raspberry Pi 3 is here. So, you know, I can't knock it for anything uh, uh, as far as not having something. It has what it says it was supposed to deliver. So awesome stuff. Let me know if you guys got any questions on this one. It's definitely a killer one. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.